Hey everyone, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. This is Aaron Hemingway with Hemingway Special Ed. And I, it's been a minute, I have not recorded a video or tutorial in probably about a year. So I'm happy to be back and, and actually in the classroom this year. Crazy. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to show you guys how to set up, if you are a unique learning system user, how to set up your schedule and then how to um, go about creating assignments and assigning them to um, your, your students. So um, with that, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to, I'm logged into my unique learning system account. And what I'm actually going to do is first, um, you want to make sure, I'm not going to click on this because I don't for privacy reasons, but you want to make sure that you have all of your students imported um, here and on your roster for a unique learning system. And then what you want to do is you want to go to um, my schedules. And right here, I have my old schedule from, yeah, I think this is from last year. So I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to change this um, and start over. So if you've never done this before, uh, you can see it. If not, then, um, or if you know how to do it, you can skip past this part. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just click start over. And I'm going to confirm the following my plans are created using the schedule. Yeah, whatever. Okay, delete my plans. Confirm. Awesome. Okay. So pretty much going from scratch here. It's going to it's going to take me through the schedule setup wizard. And let's go through this. So describe classroom schedule. My schedule generally repeats um, repeats uh, weekly. We have a different schedule on Wednesdays, but it doesn't matter too, too much. So I'm just going to leave it there. So um, my day, uh, we even though um, I'm not going to be assigning it through um, Unique Learning System, I'm still going to put it in there. So um, let's see, show more. Uh, la, 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 um, custom. So um, I always start my day with a social skills, add custom. And so I, I just want to put it in there because I want it to be on the time block. Social skill. Let's make it social skills. Okay, cool. And like I said, our schedule is different on Wednesday. So if I really wanted to, I could I could block this out and then go and create a separate schedule for Wednesday. But I am not going to do that. So social skills during my day is first, followed by math, followed by lunch, actually, um, which I can put that in there. Cool. Why is it not showing up? Hold on. <laughs> if I do my like, what am I doing wrong here? Oh, there we go. Okay. I was way overthinking it. Okay. So lunch and then after lunch is when we do reading and language arts followed by science. Oh my gosh. I'm so bad at getting this to go on here. So apparently the line has to be not dashed. <laughs> okay, and then science, and then um, we do news to you after that. So right here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I have my prep first period. I'm a middle school teacher, by the way. So that's why I have that. Um, and then I actually have two periods of math. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have eight periods in the day. So uh, that works. Um, so I'm going to, I got everything selected. I'm going to go to continue. Okay. So let's see. Social skills Monday is going to be, um, let's see. Second period starts at 9 27 AM to 10 16 AM. And then Apply to all except Wednesday. I'm going to change. Second period would be um, 9.14 to 
52, yeah, on those days. Okay, awesome. And then math. Yeah. Okay. Moving right along. Okay, cool. So um, here we have this. So here's my new schedule. And then that's there. Awesome. Okay. So now what we're going to do is go over here. And now we're going to go to unique learning system and go to home teacher dashboard. And I'm going to have to set the dates for this. So for September my plan middle school that's the only one that i have it for so set dates so i'm going to be starting on monday which is the 30th and i'm going i'll just leave the end date as 1205 so this is what i was talking about you can do my plan based on the suggested monthly plan um, and that will automatically fill everything for you so you don't really have to think about it however if you want it more customized and more personalized which is what i'm going to do um, i'll show you how to do that right now so i'm going to do my plan empty and add content manually but either way this is why it's so or that's why on the math i just have one really long math block instead of two separate ones because otherwise if you do this one my plan based on suggested monthly plan it's just going to um add like a whole ton of math basically two days worth over those two blocks it doesn't know to repeat that so uh let's go ahead to create my plan awesome then if i go over here to edit monthly plan and jump to the 30th you'll see oh i don't know why it's on preschool when i don't even have access to that you'll see here that it has these on here so um, now what I can do is, so for social skills, I use a separate curriculum, so I'm going to leave that blank. But with math, what I want to start with is, well, let me show you. I'm going to click on this plus button over here, and I'm going to, we're just going to work on basic addition and subtraction. So I'm going to call it addition and subtraction, real creative original title there and then add a resource. So I'm going to select this and go down to lesson activity. And then I know that on mine, oh, here we go, that it is the math, the addition and the subtraction is lesson 19a and 19b. And then if you want to get into multiplication and division, that is 19c. So I'm going to just do addition. And then we have, it'll tell us adding to 10 vertical, adding to 10 horizontal. So, um, I don't know. I like, let's just go with the vertical one. And then um, I also want to do adding to 20 vertical. All right, perfect. And... It goes on and on and on. And then I'm going to go lesson activity. I wonder if I can go back actually and add. Yeah, I can add more. So let me go back to lesson 19. Now we're going to do subtraction. And I have no idea if we're going to get through all this, but we have uh, subtracting to 10 vertical which I also really like that it has a standard right here. And then um, subtracting to 20 vertical. So same thing that I just did, except the subtraction. And so it adds all of that into here. And then I'm gonna go to save. And I could add the duration in there, but that's not really that important to me anyway. And so I would repeat the same thing for like reading language arts. So during this, uh, I know that I'm going to want to start out with the leveled book and vocabulary. So I'm just going to call it that leveled book and vocabulary and lesson activity. So I know that uh, 
The vocabulary is part of lesson 15. Um, those are all the high frequency words. I want defining vocabulary group one. These are new. I, I like it. I have not seen these before. So we'll select that one. And the high frequency words too. So, and then um, I'm going to close that out and then go to lesson one. And then we're just going to do activity one, which is the highest level, the leveled book, and also the standards connection, which is just like, what's the title of the story? Who's the author? Things like that. So, um, and I'm going to click save. And now that's on there. So I would do the same thing, uh, except I use a separate curriculum for science and then news to you. Um, I still kind of got to plan that out. So, but you get the idea of how to add these on there. So now what I'm going to do is show you um, how to have your kiddos log in so that you can do this. So, um, what you want to do, probably if your students, whether they use an iPad or like a Chromebook, create a shortcut on here for them. But it's just, I want to say it's, yeah, student.ny.com. And they can sign in this way. Oh, enter classroom. So enter classroom code. I forgot to do that. Darn. Okay, hold on. So let me log back in with my teacher account and I'll show you how to do this. So um, I'm going to go to my students. It's cool because you can assign a homework time and then you have your classroom code right here, which is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to change it so you guys can't access this because I know that y'all are. Um, and then, OK, cool. So now let me log out. And we'll do student.n2y.com. And, and they enter classroom code. And then you have the kids over here. And so you would just click in there and then whatever their password is and then sign in. No homework is assigned because it's after school hours. But anyway, so during the day, the assignments that you have, they would pop up on here. So anyway, that is how you do it. And then you can also assign homework as well, like you saw. Um, you can manage the homework start time uh, on the student page. Okay, and then homework right here. So on this main teacher dashboard page, you click on homework. And then you can assign homework to add assignments. I'm guessing right here, you can assign it that way. But anyway, I hope that you guys found this helpful and then it kind of demystifies uh, how all of that works. Um, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this and investing in yourself and investing in your uh, professional growth. So until the next video, which by the way, if there's any tutorials or anything that you want to see that you don't know how to do, uh, just leave a comment below. Please subscribe to my channel um, and I will let you know or I can, you know, help you out by making a video on that as well. So until the next one, um, thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you then.